all right guys so i got cardboards in our flower bed for now so i'm gonna put a pan liner in there so no water no dirt will be touching the house and i got it in both sides and then i cut the, a little drain we got here so you know the pond liner no water is gonna settle in the bottom so we're gonna make it all the way across and then i'm gonna try to fill dirt inside here show you on the other side also and you can look at my walking path it's ready my sidewalk is ready and i got the thing all the way over here the same thing but another drain right here all right all the way guys so let's get to it This mesquite tree, I was trying to get rid of it, but it looks like it's blooming. I don't know. I love hate relationship with it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> What about that tree right there? Or is that too much? I don't need one under that one. And one more light. Other one in the back. How many did we get? Ten. Ten. What about that one right there, that oak tree? You need me to cut the grass first? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, guys, so I got my solar lights already in. 
so later on tonight i'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like and then i have a camera to put on top of the building and i got one more over here it's looking like a nice nice lawn and i got the wife on cutting duty i don't know if you can see her can i zoom in yeah that's the wife down there cutting the, the grass you know that's so she find it relaxing so i let her cut the grass with it so i don't mind all right and i got one more right here just want to see what it's looking like guys just to test these lights out so the closer it is to the house it's the better for me to see it if it's too far i won't be able to see it so and then i got another one under this tree and one under this one right here all right guys this is the other one right here right here and i put some strap on this tree just to straighten it out so it be looking a little straight because it's like it's coming back and i got a few more oak trees in the back we got a lot more oak tree in the back over here. I might put another light under one of these tree over here. Just to see what it's looking like at night around here also. I'm trying to get everything lit. You know? So. Alright. Alright guys. So I got the pond liner already stretched out. I'm going to cut it in half. So I can fit it in both garden beds. this one i'm gonna break this box down and leave it in there then i'm gonna start trying to put some dirt in here i might just paint go ahead and paint this today and just to see what it's looking like but and then take the rest of the boxes off the patio and put it in here also let me take it to the other side now i got this side going also kind of run short on this side i might just cut some off the front just to put it in the back so i can have enough I just need to cover the, um, the building. That's it. The rest is okay. Just the building is the main um, part. All right. All right, guys. As you can see, I got the drain already situated. So then I'm gonna fill this with dirt, and then um, we'll go from there. But I got both side finished. All right.
All right, guys. We got one of the lights on. Shining up under the tree right there. Got another one over here. Let me take you over there. We got one more right here. We got an outside light come on. Right here. And over here, guys. Just wanted to see what they're looking like. And I need to move them in further and shine them up on the tree a little bit more. So yeah, guys, this is what it's looking like. Got a whole property lit. All right. So I'm walking down our driveway right now, guys. That's the fire we got burning. I don't know, I might hold it tonight. Put it up. So it don't spread. And this is the other light that we got going. So if I turn around, you can see it. It's all lit, guys. Probably should put one under this tree also. What do you think? Let me out this fire. All right, guys, so I'm working in the pump house today, I'm trying to get these um, insulation in the wall, and I'm gonna put up the drywalls that we have on the patio that I was telling you guys. I don't know if I told you, but I have some, like a couple drywall left from the the house so that's what i'm gonna put up on the wall in here i'm gonna put some insulation in this wall and i'm gonna run some electrical wires also so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me and i'm gonna show you what we're doing today all right all right so as you can see i already got some spray foam started at the bottom and this is the insulation that i'm putting in right now i got it all the way at the bottom so i'm gonna do this entire wall and and I'm gonna put some shelving in here also for storage to get most of those stuff off the patio, you know, just to get sit stuff situated. But this is what I'm doing so far. I already started, so I'm gonna get back to it now, all right? guys so I got this entire wall insulated I'm not gonna do the rest for now because I'm gonna do some electrical wires in here but I am gonna put the drywall on this side and then we'll see how we go from here all right So 
same thing here. Alright guys, so I think I got it figured out. I'm gonna try it again. Did I not get any screws? <laughs> Man. Oh, I took some up. Alright. Put it right here. And bring this side up a little. Might have to take this side down a little.
Gotta rethink this one. Alright. I'll rethink this. I'll take all these screw up. Gotta do it over. Alright guys. I got the drywall up. This is what it's looking like right now. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a tour of our home that we were living in. Um, as you walk through the front door, you have the back door. <laughs> and kitchen. Um, we're just trying to get up the final stuff from here. Puppy's been working hard to move us out. And when you try that's the front door this is what we have left to take out of here so we're gonna do that now this is the actual living room it's small and and, and when you come from the living and dining room area you enter into a little small tiny hallway where you have the guest bathroom. Turn the lights on. See, that's the guest bathroom. Yeah. And then when you turn here, you have what they call the pantry, but we didn't use it as a pantry because it was small. And that's basically what it is. This is the first bedroom. And basically, our rug was in here. One window and the double handle closet. Yep. And coming out of this room, we enter what we had called our office, kind of like what we're doing now. One of the rooms is our office. Small, very, very small, kind of like what we have now. Okay. Just laid out differently. Okay. As you see, we cleaned up. Everything is clean. And we're even painting the walls that was messed up. So as you come in, we have a wash-in closet. So basically, we had to put our washing machine as a stackable in here. Very tiny. They laid it out pretty differently. And then here to the end of the hallway, oh, sorry, is the master bedroom. Gave you one window, small also. I think our bedroom is now is bigger than this. And our master bath is much bigger. I think we utilized the space a little bit better than they did. 1,200 square feet. And as you can see, that's the shower. Yeah, we just cleaned it. So smelling and looking good. And toilet, yeah. Sink, everything's clean. I make sure everything is clean. Closet, that was a okay size closet. What we have now is bigger. And all we had is like hanging space. Very small bathroom, very, very small. We didn't want this again. So that's why we made ours different. And Turn the lights off. Uh, window. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty small. It has a fan. Yep. Everything, baseboards, everything is clean. So I'm going to take this out. Mm -hmm. And let's see, turn this light off. As you 
though. Again, you see, you go right to this bathroom. So basically everything is on the same side where ours is a split bedroom plan. Yeah, that's basically, and if you tab out, you can actually see there's one door here, one door here, turn. Here goes the master. Oh, I should close that door. Let's close the door. Slide off. Yeah, guys, so this is basically where we've been living for the past two years while we built our home debt free. Yeah, that's all we have left. I'm so tired. Wow. Yep, just need to get a rug out of there. And guys, these lights, we had to replace them because, I don't know, somehow there's a shortage somewhere in this home. So a few of them had blown while we were living here. But they're supposed to have a 20 year warranty, 35 year warranty, or something like that. However, it couldn't even last two years. So, go figure. You wanna say hello? Hmm? You wanna say hello? Hello. I'm <laughs> tired. He's tired. We're both tired. We're in our uniforms cleaning and doing stuff. All right, guys. Always thank you guys for watching our channel. Thank you if you find these content entertaining or informative go ahead and subscribe tell a friend and click the like button while you're here okay it helps us to get more people to see our channel